Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kim with Creative Practicality, and today I have a haul from Timu. They are basic junk journal supplies that you can pick up there, and they're things that you can include in just about any one of your journals. But I could, just wanted to show you the things that they have that are available and would really be in addition to your junk journal or get you started junk journaling. So the first thing you will need is this little kit here. It is a book binding kit. And I'll show you what is included. I will have all the links down below for these as well as the prices and there was a coupon code um, for you as well. And so this comes with a paper piercer, some twine and I'm not sure if it's I think it's a waxed feels like it's a waxed thread I'm going to be making something with this in another video so go ahead and come back for that there are these little scissors they have a little pocket that you can stick them in they're just tiny little kind of like tweezer scissors sort of but they feel pretty sharp. And then there is a little tube that has several different sizes of needles and they have the bigger needle hole at the top to use with your twine or wax thread. So it's still a little bit thicker. And then it comes with two different size bone folders. So one of them is pretty big, probably a foot wide maybe, or a little bit less. And then here's a smaller one. They're just a plastic, or like a hard plastic, I guess. And one has a hole so you can hang that up if you have any kind of organizer. So that is a good little kit there for journaling, for your junk journals. And then I also picked up this set of nine little fringed, I think they're kind of like a chiffon ribbon. And I don't remember what, how much is on here, but I'll have that, I'll try and put it down in the description. But there's a, like a tan, a lighter pink or a skin color. Well, this is more of a skin, a beigey color. Ivory, this country blue, country green, a dark forest green. This is kind of like a cocoa color and this darker pink. So they're all very vintagey, vintagey colors, I guess you'd say. So those are pretty cool. And then this is a set of vintage papers. They're not real vintage, obviously. And they're little ones. So they would be good to add to make like a journaling card or add as like a collage on your page. Or you could sew two together to make a page. So you could sew that into your signature but it's different music sheets, vintage. So I thought that was really fun. And I'm not sure how many pages are in there, but I'll have that in the description. So that's fun. And then I found this set of craft colored envelopes, which you could use to make a cover. And they even have the fun, like, money, um, like, on a money folder. I think that's super fun. So that opens like that. But what you can do, and I'll do this in the video, is connect these two or connect it on the end here and make a cover. And then these would be pockets. So I'll show you. I'll do a little tutorial on that. But those are fun, and I think it comes with 10 of those envelopes. And then these just look, I love all the colors of everything together. 
And then this is a tag maker or like a, a corner. You know when you, you want to make a tag and you just cut the square and then you use your scissors and you try and get this, the two top corners to be the same like length and same direction? Well, this just does it. So it has three different um, three different edges. So I'll just show you here where it makes a little tiny edge there. Or if you stick it in this one, does it a little bit bigger. And then I think this is the biggest one. So like that. If you can see that. So that's pretty cool. I like that. I'd probably use the biggest one the most. These are really super tiny. Uh, they have other ones on their site too. I think they even have the kind that punches the hole in the top. Does the whole top of the tag. And I have one of those too. Alright, and then I picked up this set of craft tags. Which are always fun to embellish or stamp and you can add them into a pocket or make them into a pocket and these happen to have a like a metal thing up here I probably I wouldn't use that on mine like a wire um, but I would take this out and add string so this is printed this round circle um, it's not actually an extra little punch on top so just so you know that but yeah I think those are cool and I don't remember how many were in here but it good, looks like a good amount maybe 20 or 25 and then the last thing I picked up were these handmade papers and like a handmade texture I guess and it actually is a textured paper and it has um, like some leaves intermixed in there so these are all the same and I believe that different listings I'll try and put some listings down below that have different colors so in the only but the only thing um, they, they came kind of wrinkled up because I think because they put it in a poly mailer like a plastic envelope but that doesn't bother me at all because I'm using it in a junk journal and it, that just adds to like the chunkiness and the texture of the whole book so yeah and this one I think probably has like 20 sheets in it I can't remember anyway that is my small haul of junk journal essentials and if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and check out Temu. They have an app as well as on your laptop or computer that you can go to on the website. And if you use my code, it will get you some, like a coupon discount thing. And if you're a new, a new subscriber or a new, you open up a new account on Temu, it'll get you 30% off. So yeah, go ahead and check out these things. I'll also link my video that my two other videos or three other videos that I've done with Tamu to see what else that I picked up from there. And go ahead and subscribe if you're not and give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you found anything from Tamu that you like. It's kind of a, a fun little website. They have everything on the sun or out of the sun or in the world. Like everything that you can possibly think of is on this website. Not just crafting supplies. Anything else. So it's kind of a bad thing because you can go down a rabbit hole of finding cool stuff. So anyway, and the prices are reasonable too. So anyway, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality. Bye. God bless.